Hello everyone, Brad Pennyfeather, President of Ecclastic Arts. Just figured I'd do a quick tutorial or a high level of how our quality procedures are at Ecclastic, which is why we're able to keep a 99.98% quality and delivery rates. So for every single job that hits the floor, we have a traveler. Okay? On the traveler, it has all sorts of useful information, who the customer is, it has the order number, it has the parts number, it has the description, it has the drawing that it calls out. The rev is a big one. All these things that we check in the front end when the order is in place, including the delivery time to make sure that we're going to be on time. Our delivery times are almost always four to five weeks unless we have uh, issues getting materials in that amount of time. So all everything's been checked. It's all been approved. The order's been acknowledged, and then it moves on to the it hits the floor. So moves on. So when it hits the floor, they do the first operation. So in the first operation, they end up running one piece. They call the quality manager over, he comes over and inspects. So, when he inspects, he inspects in every single one of these job packets, we have a drawing, and we have all the tolerance callouts in a spreadsheet. All this is tracked, the material lots are tracked, so we know what lots that we got the material from and we made them in, so we can track if there's ever any issues with that down the line. And we go through and we check everything that's required inside that first operation. If it looks good, we move forward with production. If it doesn't look good, we make the necessary adjustments. We do a first piece inspection again, and we move forward. First piece is done. We move forward afterwards. It goes on to the second operation. Full process completed again. Third operation, process completed again. Fourth operation, process completed again. We have all the materials. We have the quantities that are necessary. All this stuff is mapped out in advance, so we know we have it here when it's time to run the job, and we're not going to be creating issues and moving dates. So once the job is done, all first piece has been run, production has been run, with the operators checking the parts as they're going along the way. Everything then goes up into final inspection. At final inspection, we follow the mill specs where if we run less than 20 parts, we're doing 100% inspection of all of them. If we're doing 100 parts, then we do a certain percentage. If we're doing 1,000 parts, we're doing a certain percentage. Now, if we find anything that's wrong, we immediately dive in and we do 100% inspection. We also do 100% inspection at final in scenarios where there's been rejects within the past. And the reason why is because it costs both you and X Plastic Arts a lot of money to be sending you parts that you can't use.